Are you ready to indulge in the cream of the crop of Chinese dramas? From heart-fluttering romances to intense family feuds, we've handpicked the best of the best, the top 10 highest rated Chinese drama picks of 2024 so far. Starting the countdown at number 10 is Dolo Conti. Dolo Continent is perfect if you're looking for an interesting and light-hearted drama that is not packed with gruesome violence, deaths, and betrayals. The story follows Tang San, who lost his mother at a young age and grew up relying on his father. With exceptional talent and maturity, he enters an academy at the age of six to pursue his dreams of becoming a great soul master. Under the guidance of Yu Shao Gong, Tang San befriends orphan Gu Xiao Wu and together they embark on the challenging journey of cultivation. Coming in at number 9 is My Girlfriend is an Alien. <laughs> this drama may not have the best story or the most convincing sci-fi tech, but man, it sure got me laughing and feeling all warm and fuzzy. And let me tell you, it was seriously spicy. The story revolves around Chai Shao Qi, an alien woman from a distant planet who saves Fang Lang, a handsome CEO from a car crash using her superhuman powers. However, in the process, she loses her homing device required to return home and becomes stranded on Earth. To blend in, she must pretend to be a normal Earthling, all the while struggling with her attraction to human male hormones. Meanwhile, Fang Lang suffers from amnesia triggered by rain, which erases memories of women including the accident. As Chai Xiao Qi tries to retrieve her device, she crosses paths with Fang Lang again. And as they spend more time together, their feelings begin to grow. Coming in at number 8 is The Longest Promise. I will warn you now, this drama is not for those who only want a love story. There's a whole lot more to it than just the main couple's romance. And I've learned from personal experience that focusing only on the romance means missing out on the deeper storylines and character growth. The story follows Shi Ying, the crown prince, who is framed by the imperial consort and is forced to fake his death to escape the palace. He is sent to Zhu Yi Mountain to cultivate. There, he meets Zhu Yan, a princess of the Qi Yi clan, who becomes his disciple. Coming in at number 7 is You Are My Glory. This is the most realistic modern drama I've seen so far, in every aspect, from the relationship of the leads to their careers and all of the side characters. There were no cliches, no tropes, no jealous exes, or other side characters. No overbearing parents, no breakups, no misunderstandings or miscommunication. It was pure gold. The story centers around Zhao Jingjing, a famous star with a flawless reputation. When a video of her playing an online game badly goes viral, it puts her endorsement deal in danger. To save it, she plans to prove her gaming skills by joining a big competition. She turns to Yu Tu, a former classmate and aerospace engineer who is also a skilled gamer for help. Even though she had a crush on him in school, she now asks for his assistance to win the competition. Coming in at number 6 is Well Intended Love, Season 2. This is one of the few times where I found myself preferring the second season much more than the first. Season 2 is not only funnier, but the chemistry somehow feels better and hotter. Even though the plot is somewhat the same, it still feels different. The story revolves around Jia Lin, a famous actress, and Ling Yi Zhou, whose lives become connected after a public argument at a gala. To repair their reputations when embarrassing photos of their fight go viral, they hold a joint press conference. But things get even stranger when Ling Yi Zhou unexpectedly declares to the media that they're engaged. Coming in at number 5 is The Legends. I began watching The Legends with no expectations at all since I wasn't familiar with anyone from the entire cast and didn't do much research on this drama before starting. However, after completing the whole series, it has now officially become one of my all-time favorites. The story follows Lu Zhao Yao, who lived her demon life loudly and shamelessly, reigning over legions of demons. But just as she's about to retrieve the sword of the ancient demon king and claim her rightful spot on the throne, her life takes an unexpected turn. Coming in at number 4 is Love and Destiny. Ever 
everything so well written and organized. The sets, costumes, and cinematography are stunning. Even the evil characters live in gorgeous buildings. The story follows Zhu Chen, the god of war, who fell into a deep slumber after sealing away the demon lord 50,000 years ago. Ling Shi accidentally wakes him from his sleep and they fall in love. However, Ling Shi was born with a harmful aura that could aid the demon lord's return. Despite this, Zhu Chen refuses to harm her and instead tries to change her fate. With Zhu Chen's help, Ling Shi transforms from an innocent and naive individual into a brave leader, joining the fight against evil. Coming in at number three is the rise of the phoenixes. After watching the rise of the phoenixes, I couldn't stop dreaming about it because it was just too interesting. The beautiful cinematography, remarkable art and design, and excellent performances are unforgettable. The story revolves around Feng Ji Wei, the neglected daughter of the Chu family, who flees due to unfortunate events. In return for a favor to the sixth prince, Ning Yi, Ji Wei disguises herself as a man to enroll in the prestigious Qingming Academy and becomes the top scholar to the emperor. In the midst of the power struggles among the princes for the throne, she stays loyal to the reigning emperor while developing feelings for Ning Yi, who is on a quest to uncover secrets from his past and seek vengeance for his loved ones. Coming in at number two is Love is Sweet. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with this drama. The cast is absolutely amazing. The chemistry between the two leads is so cute. I also loved how each character developed nicely and there weren't many backstabs among rivals. The story follows Jiang Jun, an educated woman with a strong and independent character who encounters her childhood friend Ma Yuan Shai in the workplace as a rival. After her father's sudden death, Jiang Jun joins MH a top investment company to fulfill his dying wish, despite her initial dream of working for a non-profit organization. However, she faces challenges at work, including managing her relationship with Ma Yuan Shuai, who is now her competitor. In the top spot at number one is Once Upon a Time in Lingjian Mountain. <laughs> you have to go into this drama knowing that it's a comedy. It's not a serious drama with some funny moments. It's a straight-up comedy with excellent plot twists, irresistible cliffhangers, beautiful scenery, and a wonderfully sweet background romance. The story follows a genius boy from a small village who loves adventures and joins the Lingjian clan. Despite his reluctance, he becomes the disciple of Wang Wu, the mischievous and money-hungry fifth elder of the clan. Wang Wu, forced into the role of his master by the other elders due to her availability, initially resists helping Wang Lu. However, she ultimately decides to keep him around and dedicates herself to developing his skills, leading to an unconventional teacher-disciple dynamic filled with challenges. 